is Mackenzie. Her husband died of cancer. Now she is all alone in her big house, so she decided to adopt twins. But she wasn't prepared for how much trouble they would be. Hey, Sky. Wow, took you long enough. Wow, girly, I cannot believe you live here when you said you were buying your first house out of college. Let's just say this is not what I expected. I'm afraid to now ask what your expectations were. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. All right, well, come on in. I'll give you a tour. A few moments later. Welcome to what I would like to call Casa de Mackenzie. The name is subject to change, so don't worry. Now, please keep your hands, feet, and body parts inside the tram during the whole time and supervise your children. You have gone to Disneyland way too many times. Hold up. Is that a water bottle in your hand? Uh, yeah. Why? No food or beverages permitted on this tour. Leave it at the counter. Really, girly? Yes. You could spill. Now, we're going to start in my very big, spacious living room. And as you can see, the kitchen is off to the side for all your eating needs. And the TV is right in here for all your Netflix needs. Yeah, this is cool and all, but I want to see things like the pool and, most importantly, where my bedroom is going to be. Ah, yes, of course. One of the most important aspects of the tour. Come on, follow me. Whoa, this is going to be all mine? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I have so many bedrooms, and it's not like anyone else is going to be staying here. It's just me, and that's okay. I've got this huge, awesome house, and more importantly, I've got you. Well, I cannot wait to stay here. This is going to be amazing. Let's continue with the tour, shall we? Moments later. And last but not least, the pool. And to answer the question that I know you're going to ask, yes, you can eat in it, but only on a raft. Yes, wow, I got to tell you, girly, I am so, so proud of you. I mean, look at all you've done for yourself. Who else at your age has their own place? Never mind a huge house like this. If I haven't told you recently, you're a rock star. Thanks, guy. Your voice doesn't sound like someone who's done well for themselves. Scratch that. Your face doesn't look like it either. Why do you look so sad? I don't know. I mean, I've got everything I want, right? I don't know why I feel just so lonely. You don't have to be lonely, girly. You have me. It's not just like lonely. It's like empty. Something missing from my life. I've got all this space, but nobody to fill it. Ugh, I just don't know what's wrong with me. Meanwhile. Wow, it is so quiet in here. I can actually hear myself think. I can't remember the last time we didn't have any kids in here. Darn it, I knew it was too good to be true. Why do I always jing myself? Why? Um, hello? If there are kids ding-dong ditching me, I'm gonna be very seriously steamed. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> oh my god! Babies! Who just left their babies? Wait, girls, is there someone here with you? Wait, hello? Someone, you forgot your baby! the adoption center, maybe that just means that whoever left them can't take care of them and wants to put them up for adoption. Well, there goes my quiet time. Okay, my sweet babies, let me bring you guys on inside and get you all warm and cozy. Meanwhile... I don't think there's anything wrong with you, girly. In fact, I think I may know exactly what's missing. Guy, if you say moving in, we both know that's not gonna end well. Sometimes Bessie shouldn't be roomies. No, no, not that. It's the B word. As in Bessie? No! As in baby! Face a girly, I think you totally want a baby. Oh my god, is that what you think? Look, I'm not an expert, but in my expert opinion, I think what the problem is, is you want a baby. I think you're right. I think I want a baby. Oh my gosh, Sky, what do I do? Uh, you have a baby? I mean, it's not like you don't have the room. You can have like five, and they can each have their own room. Dang, I would be so envious of those babies living in this house. I know, but it's just me. I'm single. I don't have a husband anymore, or anything. Wait a minute, you don't have Josh's number after all those years, do you? Girly, what is this? The 18th century? You don't need a man to have a baby. Heck, you don't need a man for anything. Woman empowerment. I don't? No. Oh, go to the adoption center and adopt one. Adoption? I like the sound of that. The next day. Oh my gosh, I am getting too old for this. You two need a home. Why is it that you are so tiny but you make so much noise? There's only one of me. Man, I hope a couple comes in here to adopt you soon. Meanwhile. I am so excited. I feel like I'm about to get a puppy or something. Yeah, word of advice. Don't say that. Nothing will make them happier to give you a human baby than comparing it to a dog. I'm kind of nervous. Do you think I'm ready for this? It's just one little baby. I mean, how hard could it be? Moments later. Oh, hello there. How can I help you two? Hi, Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am. My bestie here is looking to adopt a baby. Oh, she is a 
is she? Yes, I'm gonna be a single mom, but heck, I know I can do it. Do you have any babies available? Babies! Yes, I definitely have babies available. Perfect timing, actually. Why don't you come on in? And now, did I hear you correctly? It's uh, just you, or are you both looking to adopt together? No! I mean, I shouldn't have said it that fast. I just mean no. This baby is for her, not for me. Not that I don't ever want one. It's just I like to sleep way too much, and I don't have as many rooms as she does, and I also don't know why I'm still talking, so I'm going to stop right now. So, you're going to be a single mom. Yes. Is that okay? That's not a problem, is it? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> not at all. So, do you have any babies available? Yeah, about that. I don't have any baby available, but I have babies available. They're identical twins. You can't really break up a set. There's two of them? Wow, girly, did you not know how twins worked? Really, Sky? They just became available for adoption. Someone left them outside yesterday. They're twin girls. And you can't just give me one? No, you don't split twins up. They're really cute, though. Yeah, but there's also, like, two of them. What are their names? I don't know. So, I named them Isabel and Annabelle. You gave them rhyming names? That's cruel. Hey, nobody else was here to help, okay? So, what do you think? You up for the challenge? I mean, you certainly do you have the room for them, girly? Guys, stop helping. I don't know who else would adopt the girls. I don't want them to spend their whole life here. No, of course not. I mean, I thought I could handle one baby, so what's one more? This way, at least they'll have a friend. You'll do fine. Two babies really is easier than one. Is that true? No, but did hearing it make you feel better? For a split second, yeah. So, what do you say, girly? Aw, she is really, really cute. And the other one's really, really cute, too. Hi, baby. Do you want me to be your mom? Yes, Mama! Well, I can't say no. Look at their faces. All right, I'll do it. Moments later. Why did I agree to take two? Sky, how did I agree to this? How could you let me do this? I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how to take care of two babies. Relax, girly, relax. You are a girl boss. Being a single mom to twins is hard, but you could totally do it. Look at the girls. They're super happy right now. I mean, I guess, and they are super cute. Can you believe I have two daughters? No, but clearly you're already an amazing mom, because look, they're not even crying. <laughs> Sky! What? It's not like I made her cry. No, but you totally jinxed the moment. Okay, okay, I got this. Let me just pick her up. Shh, shh. It's okay, Isabel. Wait, or are you Annabelle? Which baby are you? Sky, I don't know which is which. Are you serious? You've only had them for like two hours. You're their mom. Are you supposed to just know? Okay, that is, like, really not helping right now. Sorry, sorry. Okay, if I remember correctly, Isabel was in pink when we left the adoption center, which means that would be Annabelle in the blue. Okay, Isabel. So maybe I should write, like, an I on her just to be sure. Not a bad idea. Or a P for pink. How are we supposed to get through the night with them? I don't know. Maybe. Wait, we? Yeah, you're not going to leave me alone, are you? Well, clearly I was going to help you baby proof, but then I was going to leave because, like I mentioned before, I really like sleep. Oh, yeah, well, it looks like neither of us are going to be getting any sleep for a very long time. Many hours later. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I talked you into this. This is so hard. The adoption lady totally lied. Two babies is not easier than one. As soon as one starts crying, she wakes up the other one and then they both start crying. Sorry, I can't really hear you right now. I have a baby crying in my ear all night. <gasps> Sky, look, they're quiet right now. What did we do so we can do it again later? I don't know, but let's not question it. Let's just put them down and then back away slowly. Meanwhile, do you have the baby monitor so we can hear them? Right under the pillow, girly. I can do this, right? Like, I can be a single mom. I got this. You have it better than anyone else I know. Thanks, Sky. Well, at least let's try and get a few hours of sleep. The next morning. <gasps> Sky, Sky, get up. Wait, wait, is it the baby? Harder than that. Ten years later. But why not, Mom? Because you're 15 and you're not old enough to drive. So what? My friend's mom's let her drive. Well, I'm not their mom. If they were allowed to jump off a bridge, would you? If it would make me popular, yeah. Wrong answer. Wait, if I get the right answer, would you let me drive? No. Ah, you're the worst. Hey, 
Hey, you try being a single mom of twins. It's not easy. Em, where have you been? I thought school ended an hour ago. You could have been dead in a ditch somewhere. Oh my God, Mom, you're so dramatic. So, where were you? I had detention, okay? No big deal. Detention? I'm sorry, detention is a really big deal. Ugh, why do you always have to overreact? What did you do? Nothing. They gave you detention for nothing? No, if anything, I'm a brave hero, though. Everyone knows my teacher is a butt face, but just because I'm the one brave enough to say it, I get detention? It is so not fair. Oh, you think that's not fair? Mom won't let me drive. Wait, why? You should be able to drive. If you can, then I can. This was so much easier when you were babies. Mackenzie, I need your help. Yeah, Mom, what's up? I have a whole list of chores for you to do today. But it's the weekend. I don't care. I need your help and I'm your mother. I raised you. Are you even gonna help me? Nope, now have fun. Ugh, having a child must be so easy. You just get them to do all of your work. Well, I do all the work. You just sit there and be lazy. That is so unfair. You have no idea what it's like to be a single mom. I've done everything for you. Absolutely everything. Sometimes I need a break too. Being a single mom? Ha! That's the easiest thing ever. You just get the kid to do all the work for you. Oh, you better take that back. No. Ugh, you'll see. Six months later. This hurts so much. I can't believe I'm getting a baby sister. Woohoo! This is so awesome. Ah! I don't know what to do, Doc. Things are not looking good. You're telling me. Why does this hurt like a million times more than the last time? Ugh. What's going on? My mom looks like she's in a lot of pain. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, Mackenzie, while we perform a surgery on your mom. There's no way that's happening. I'm staying right here with my mom the entire time. With all due respect, doctors, I'm staying by her side. Please, sweetie, everything will be okay. I promise. I love you very much. But I want to be right here when the baby is born. Mackenzie Grace Turner, I love you, but I'm in so much pain, and I need you to leave so they can get this baby out of me. Oh, okay. A few moments later. What is taking so long? Ugh, I should have stayed. Oh, she is so cute, honey. Should we call her? She is the cutest thing, isn't she? I love you so much, baby. I love you too. I think we should name her Madison. I love that name. I'm dad. This is the happiest day of my life. Woohoo! Your daddy loves you so very much, honey. She's my sweet little angel. Now let's take both of you home and have a cuddle puddle. Moments later. She is so cute. Well, at least we managed to save one of them. A few moments later. Oh my god, my baby sister! What's her name? Um, no name yet. Sweet, that means I get to name her. Your name is gonna be Kylie, baby Kylie. Oh, you're such a cutie. <laughs> um, what's wrong with him? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? I don't know how to say this. Where's my mom? Can I go see her? You're gonna want to sit down for this. What do you mean? I'm not sitting down. What's going on? Please, just... Sit down. Doc, please tell me what's going on. Can I see my mom? We weren't able to save your mom. I'm sorry. She died in the operating table. No, no, this can't be true. You're lying to me. <laughs> I can't believe you're dead, mom. Why did this happen? I know this is hard to hear right now, but everything will be okay. Just let me go get my car and I'll take you home. Five minutes later. Just keep going straight. Okay, is it up left ahead? No, you just turn right and then go up the hill. Later that night. Why did she have to go? Hello? Hey, girly. How's everything going? Can I come over and see the baby? I am so excited to meet her. <laughs> What's wrong, Kenzie? Talk to me. Can you come over ASAP? I need to talk to you. Be right there, girly. Moments later. Girly! Like 
like all week. And the baby is crying cries of death. And it's making my ears feel like they're being stabbed. Oh, okay. I guess I'll uh, see you around. Sounds good. Ugh, why won't you ever stop? Kenzie! Oh, oh my gosh. She said my name. Her first words are my name. I can't believe it. Five years later. Phew, thank God there hasn't been any problems today. I would like to speak to your manager, you imbecile. Huh, looks like I spoke too soon. Yes, I am the manager. How can I help you, ma'am? Mackenzie? <laughs> You're the manager of Starbucks? <laughs> oh, great. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Mackenzie. Sky? I can't believe you are such a loser now. I actually feel bad. Don't even worry about it. Just make sure this imbecile makes my coffee right. Will do, Ashley. <laughs> I can't believe you don't even have a high school diploma. Well, I had to drop out to take care of my sister. Yeah, that's what all the dropouts say. <laughs> a few moments later. Phew, thank goodness it's break time. Hey, uh, Kenzie? Oh, hey, didn't know you were like best friends with Ashley. Well, duh, I mean, we're going to university together. It kind of made sense since we were the only ones to go. Yeah, sure thing. I'm actually almost done. And I'll be a lawyer in a few years from now. I'm helping out this one lawyer right now. I'm like her assistant lawyer. And like one day, I'll totally be a famous celebrity lawyer. Wow, sounds cool. I know, right? What have you been up to? I don't mean to be rude, but I should probably head back to work. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll see you around. Yeah, sure thing. Later that same evening. Wow, it is so dead in here right now. I could totally just slip out and pick her up. Oh gosh, I wish I had a car. Okay, hopefully I'm not too late. Hey, sis, you're late. No one's here. Can't you see? I'm sorry. I was busy at work. Whatever. Can we just go home now? Not yet. I still gotta go back to work. Ugh, you're the worst. A few moments later. Where have you been? Starbrook's owner, man, sir. Uh, hi, how are you? Answer the question. I was just picking up my little sister from daycare. I don't pay you to do that, do I? No. Then why did you do it? I had no choice. She needed to be picked up because the daycare was closing. Well, you left the store unattended. I'm sorry, sir. I won't happen again. I promise. You're right it won't because you're gonna pack your things and go home and never come back. Why? Why? Because you're fired! A few moments later. My life sucks. I don't have a job. My old best friend is basically best friends with my bully and they're both living it up at university while I'm here. Ugh, I wish she was never born. She ruined my life. Later that night. Ugh, finally time to relax after a long day. Ugh, she never listens to me or does any chores around the house. And then she has the audacity to play loud music when I'm trying to relax. This is literally the worst. Kylie! Jeez, a little privacy. Turn down the music. I'm trying to watch TV, you little brat. This isn't just your house. It's a shared space. I've had a rough day, so please just turn it down. Ugh, fine, whatever. Kylie! Several days later. Ugh. Actually, kind of nice. I cannot wait until I'm retired. Hey, can I have some money? Um, for what? So I can have a new outfit for school. <laughs> not a chance. Are you kidding me? Why not? Cause we don't have any money for that. That's unfair. The money mom gave you was for both of us, not just you. And I haven't spent a single penny on myself, just on taking care of you and keeping this house. You know, you single-handedly ruined my life. I had to quit everything because of you, and now I'm a loser because of it. And you killed mom. I hate you. I wish you were never born. Let's face it. You are always a loser, Kenzie. Leave right now. Ha, whatever. Goodbye. See you never, loser. Several days later. Um, what are you doing here, George? You're being arrested and taken to court right now. For what? I didn't do anything wrong. It has to do with your sister, and clearly she thinks otherwise. So please don't cause a stink and just come with me, okay? Oh, whatever. Fine. Thanks for not making this hard. A few moments later. So, explain to me why you thought it was a good idea to kick your sister out when the money is 50-50. Because, well, she was being a brat. That is not a good enough reason, Mackenzie. But I was taking care of her, and she wanted money to buy non-essential things. Ahem, <laughs> is it our turn to talk? I was able to get proof that Mackenzie was spending all the money and that Kylie hasn't spent any money. But it was for both of us. Ugh, how could you do this to me, Sky? Enough, enough. Bring the proof here, Sky. Here you go. Interesting. That is so unfair. It looks like that is the truth. I'm awarding the house and all the money to Kylie now. This literally couldn't get any worse. One hour later. Well, at least I can just watch TV now. Um, what do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, what do you 
you mean? You need to leave right now. This is my house. Not happening. You need to leave before I arrest you and put you in jail, Mackenzie. Ugh, unbelievable. The next day. Oh my god, she's actually the devil. Oh my god, you're homeless now? <laughs> Sky told me about the court case. That is so funny. <laughs> wow, what a baby. Being a single mom is literally the hardest thing ever. I wish my mom never died. Mom. You're alive! What the heck is going on? Is this a dream? Wait, why do I feel younger? See, I told you it wasn't easy. Looks like I was right and you were wrong yet again. What is going on? What do you mean? Well, after you said those things, I put you in a simulation for like two days that felt like years and years and years to prove my point to you. <sighs> oh my god, you're nuts! Well, at least I was right. Woohoo! Mommy, is it lunchtime yet? Almost, honey. Just let me finish this one episode and then I'll go and make you whatever you want to eat for lunch. Yay, yay, yay! Uh, I just love being a stay-at-home mom. I get to spend all day with Zoe and I don't have to rush. And the best part is I can enjoy it because I know how fast these years go by. Okay, mommy. I finished building my Legos. I'm ready for my lunch now. All right, all right. I'll make your lunch and then I better start on dinner for when your father gets home. Why do you have to make him dinner? Well, because he's been at work all day and working can be super tiring and stressful. I hear him getting ready in the morning and let me tell you, kiddo, he gets up early. I cannot imagine working all day and taking care of you and handling all the things around the house. But you have to because you have daddy. Exactly. So making him dinner seems like an easy compromise to me. I guess so. As long as you make him chicken nuggets in his shape of dinosaurs because that's what I want to eat tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm sure dino nuggets is what everyone wants to eat after a long day of work. Later that same evening. Oh, uh, hi, honey. Welcome home. Don't you hi, honey, me right now. Okay, well, there are dino bites in the kitchen if you're hungry. Do I look like I'm a child? Who would want to eat that? I tried to tell her. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Ugh, get away from me, you little brat. <laughs> Zoe, sweetheart, he didn't mean that. Why don't you just go up to your room and I'll talk to him? She's only a child. Why are you talking to her like that? Nonsense. She's old enough to know what she's doing. No, she's a toddler. I'm pretty sure she has no idea. She was just excited to see her dad. Did you have a bad day or something? Yeah, I guess you could say I had a bad day. Every day is a bad day. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Could I dumb it down for you anymore? I'm not happy. Okay, I get that, but what is going on? What happened? What happened is I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry, done with what? All of it. This. I'm done being a boyfriend and a father. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure you don't really get a choice when it comes to that. Well, I made my choice. I met someone else at work, and we're starting a life together. We're moving to Bloxburg, and you're never going to hear from us again. But, but, what about me and Zoe? What are we supposed to do? We're a family. Well, not anymore. You two are on your own. I can't believe you're leaving me and your daughter. How am I supposed to take care of her and work enough to support her? And be the mom that she needs me to be all by myself. Myself. I'm sure you'll figure it out. But, but I don't want to be a single mom. Well, it's not my problem. I'm supposed to meet my new girlfriend tonight. I need to start packing so I can get the heck out of here. I'm going to be a single mom. The next day. Okay, Sky, you're starting to worry me. You've never been this quiet in your life. I just, I don't know what to say. Say anything, please. Your silence is quite terrifying. I don't know. I don't want to say anything in front of C H I L D. Sky, she can't spell yet, so you don't have to whisper. What did Auntie Sky say, Mommy? Nothing, honey. Why don't you just color? Yay! I love coloring. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just really worried about you, girly. You don't have to worry. I'm fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Isn't fine girl code for not fine at all? Well, kind of, but no, I mean it. We're gonna be okay. You're okay? The man you love just took off on you and Zoe. Wow, way to rub it in, Sky. I knew I should have just married Josh in middle school. But that doesn't matter anymore. All that matters is doing the right thing for Zoe. Is that what you're gonna do? Um, I don't really think I have much of a choice now that I'm a single mom. My days of getting to stay home with her are over now. It looks like I'm gonna be the one getting up early in the mornings for work. So what are you gonna do? Well, I thought our little girl's lunch would be a perfect opportunity to tell you that, drum roll please, I got a job. Drum roll! Do -do 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 -do. Nice, so a little late, but I appreciate the effort. Yay, yay, I'm gonna get to play the drums! Yeah, not exactly. 
exactly, but again, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Oh my gosh, girly, you got a job? Wow, your first job. So what is it, teacher, doctor, lawyer? Wow, I appreciate the confidence you have in me, but as you said, it is my first job. So let's just lower the bar down a little bit. It's Starbucks. Hey, Starbucks is great. Someone has to make my pink drink, and now that it will be you, hopefully, it will be just my liking. And it will have the right amount of foam on it. I am not above sending it back just because my best friend works there. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're not, but think about it. Tomorrow is going to be like the first day of the rest of my life. Okay, okay, so tell me, what is the plan for the first day? the rest of your life. Okay, well, first off, we're gonna have to start a whole new morning routine, which I'm not totally sure how that's gonna go, but hey, Zoe and I are survivors. We'll figure it out. But what do you think it's gonna be? Well, I've never really had a morning routine as a single mom before, so I'm kind of just gonna have to make it up as I go. But from what I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to wake up super early and get Zoe's lunch packed. They get my lunch packed and then wake her up, get her ready for the day, take her to daycare, because no more staying home for Miss Zoe either. And then scrambling as fast as I can to get to work on time. Wow. What? You don't think I can do it? No, no, not at all. You are just gonna be exhausted. Later that same evening. Mommy, can you read me a story? Not tonight, kiddo. But why not? I love stories. I know you do, but you really gotta go to bed because we gotta wake up super early tomorrow. Why? Are we going on a plane? No, not exactly. You know how you've always been staying home with mommy ever since you were a little baby? Yeah. Well, you are so big and grown up now that you officially get to start daycare tomorrow. Whoa, daycare? What's daycare? Well, daycare is pretty much a place where kids go and play. And they have a great time while their mommies and daddies are at work. So you'll go there and do your work and then I'll go to mine. What that means though is that we're really gonna have to hustle in the morning. Do you want me to make my own lunch? No, no honey, I can handle all of that. All I need you to do is make sure that your bag is ready to go and then listen to mommy. Do you think that you can do that? Yes! Okay, great, we have an understanding. Now, why don't you go to sleep and have super great dreams and then I will see you very early in the morning. Okay! That's just my alarm. Oh my god, I haven't seen this alarm in like four years. I forgot it existed. Ugh, the sun is hardly even up yet. Okay, come on, Mackenzie. You're a boss lady now. You got this. You are a single mom. Okay, maybe just like five more minutes. Wait, no, we're not doing that. Up and at him. Okay, first step is getting Zoe's lunch pack. Ugh, okay, you know what? You're right. I mean, like five minutes, it won't hurt. <laughs> I shouldn't know that once I laid back down, I was never gonna get back up. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Five minutes in my butt. Oh, it was way too cozy. Okay, okay, I got this. Single moms do this all the time. No big deal. I will simply just make her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Wait, no, I didn't pick up any peanut butter at the store. Oh, I didn't even get to go grocery shopping because Zoe's dad wasn't here to watch her. That's fine. She can just have leftover dino nuggets for lunch. I'm sure she won't mind. Oh, but I'm hungry. What the heck am I gonna have for lunch? No, Kenzie, don't focus on yourself right now. You need to focus on Zoe. But I don't think they offer lunch in a professional work setting. Which probably means that I should make myself lunch too. Oh, darn it. I am going to be so late. <laughs> Zoe, Zoe, come on, sweetie. It's time to wake up. Too early, Mommy. I'm still sleepy. I know you're tired, honey. But remember what we talked about? It's time to go to daycare like a big girl. Nah, meet me tomorrow. No, no, Zoe, come on. You have to help me out here. Come back a little later, please. No, Zoe, come on, we're already late as it is. Hey, I was cozy. Well, I'm sorry, but it's time to wake up. Let me brush your hair. Although, this doesn't really leave me any time to brush my hair. So I'll be going to work looking like a real prize. No brushing, I want piggy tails. Today, no, Zoe, I don't have time to give you pigtails. No, I want my pigtails. You always used to do pigtails for me when you stayed home. Fine, okay, okay, but quickly. We have to get out of the door by seven to get both of us there on time. So sit still. Do your pigtail. All right, there, little Missy, you are all set with your pigtails. Yay, yay! I love them, Mommy! Oof, this single mom stuff is no joke. I don't know how people do this with multiple kids. They must be like Wonder Woman. All right, dare I say that we are running ahead of schedule. Now, all you have to do is grab your bag and we're out the door. What bag? Oh, uh, the bag. I told you to have ready last night because it was your only chore and that you can handle it. That bag. Oh, yeah. Zoe, oh my god, I don't have time to pack your bag for you now. I literally have to go, like, right this second. I'm sorry, Mommy, I forgot. Why don't we just go back to bed? No, no, honey, that's not how it works. I've got to be at work in 20 minutes. And you have to be at daycare.
here. So let's grab the first bag we see and then let's go. Oh, God bless single moms everywhere. All right, here we are. First stop on the journey to the rest of your life. Next stop, kindergarten. Wow, I like it in here. It is so cool. It's so much prettier than my room. Well, I'm glad because you, my dear, get to stay here all day and you can play as much as you want. Okay, why don't we put my bag away and I'll start a game of Barbies for us. Oh, no, 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 honey. Mommy's got to go to work now, remember? That's kind of the whole reason this whole morning routine even started. Just us now, so I've got to go earn enough money to take care of us. So you're going to leave me here? Well, not just leave you here. There's a daycare lady and other kids. And this is where you're supposed to be. But don't you want to stay with me? Of course I do, but I'm a single mom now, and I don't always get the choice. As much as I would love to be with you, I want to take care of you even more. So that means I will have to go to work. But I promise you, I'll come back. I always come back. Well, as long as you promise. Have a good day at work, Mommy. Oh, look at that kid over there. Who toys? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I am so going back to bed. Is it really only 7 in the morning? Man, being a mom is no joke. But at least I get to work in a place with unlimited coffee. <laughs> I just can't wait. We're going to meet our little boy soon. I think if I weren't in so much pain, I would be a lot more excited. But this hurts so bad. It'll all be worth it when we have our little boy in our arms. Not that this is the right time for us to be arguing about it, honey. But I already told you, we don't even know if it's a boy. It could just as easily be a girl. Oh, uh, no. I would never have a little girl. It just wouldn't happen. Well, it might be a little too late for that. Whatever it's going to be, we're going to love it no matter that's what you think. I only want this baby if it's a boy. Whatever, your voice is just making it worse at this point. So whatever you say, I'm ignoring you. Fine, but stop taking so long. Hurry up and get my son here. Moments later. Congratulations, Mom and Dad. It's a little girl. A what? Oh, now that that's over, I don't care what it is. As long as I never have to feel pain like that again. Now, is she healthy? She's perfect. You did a great job. She's a real cutie, too. My little angel, I love her so much. I'm gonna name her Mackenzie. Wait, wait, hold up. It's a girl. What happened to my boy? Um, I'm sorry, but it's not an exact science. Kind of like the rule in kindergarten with whatever popsicle flavor you get. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. Oh, yeah? Well, I am upset. I didn't sign up for no girl. You seem like an, um, very loving father. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some other patients. What are we gonna do with this thing? You mean our daughter? We are going to love her and care for her like good parents do. No, I don't want this. I wanted a boy, and if I don't get a boy, I want out. So what are you saying? Because you didn't get the baby you wanted, you're just gonna leave? Exactly. You're gonna make me be a single mom? What am I gonna do? How can I care for her all by myself? I need help. You'll be fine. You two will have each other. Besides, it's a girl. What does she need a dad for? Little girls need their dads just as much as little boys do. Yeah, all right. I'm so out of here. Meanwhile... Hey, hey, is everything okay? Where are you going? We have everything and more you need here, so you don't have to leave your wife. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. But, but you're coming back, right? Nah, I'm through. I don't need a little girl. But, but what about your wife? She'll be fine as a single mom. Actually, in fact, I think she may be much better off. <laughs> Mommy, mommy, it's the first day of summer. I am so excited. Are we gonna go to the pool? Are we gonna go to the lake? Ooh, are we gonna have snow cones? No, Mackenzie, I'm sorry, but I need to get ready for work. But it's summer, and you don't work in the summer, so we're supposed to play. Because I start kindergarten in the fall. I know, but I can't play all summer. Well, why not? Because who will pay for all of our bills? Daddy! Mackenzie, I told you, Daddy isn't coming back. I'm a single mom, so it's my job to take care of you and pay for all of our bills. But that's not fair. You're both my parents, so you should both take care of me. Well, life isn't fair, unfortunately, and because he isn't around, it's up to me to provide you with everything that you need. But I don't want to go to work with you. Don't worry, you're not going to. You're going to go to day camp. Ew, that's even worse. I don't want to go to day camp. I'm sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. I can't stay home with you, and you're way too young to stay home by yourself. You've got to go somewhere, and I don't know where else you would go. I don't like that you're a single mom. Well, honey, join the club. <gasps> There's a club? No, no, it's just an expression. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it either, kiddo, but it's just me taking care of you, so it's my job to make sure all your needs are met. Later that same evening. Hi, Mommy, you're home. It's late. It's 
it's already dark out. I know. I'm sorry. I couldn't find anyone to cover me, so I couldn't leave. How was camp today? Eh, I didn't really like it. I missed you. I missed you too, honey. The whole time I was at work, I kept on thinking about how much I wanted to be with you. I wish I had more time with you and that you didn't have to go to work. I know. Me too. I wish Daddy was here working so you could stay home all the time with me. Oh, trust me. I wish that too. Very much. When I grow up, I don't want to be a single mom. Well, that sounds good because I really don't want you to be one either. Hey, Curly, what are you doing this weekend? Hmm, well, my mom's working a double shift this weekend, as always, so probably nothing. Well, if you're just going to be home alone anyways, why don't you sleep over at my house? Hi, you're the best. I wish I could just move into your house. You say that, but sometimes my brother eats breakfast in his underwear. It's kind of gross. Well, whatever it takes to not spend another weekend alone, I'm all here for it. Hello there, students. I just want to remind you all that this Friday is our annual father-daughter dance. Now, this year, we want to try and get more fathers and daughters out on the dance floor than ever before. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess that's my cue to stay home on Friday night. Curly, no! Of course, Sky. What else do you think it means? I don't have a dad, so obviously that doesn't include me. I don't know what else there is to say. Well, I know that my daddy and I will have the best time, and I know he'll buy me a new dress to wear and everything. Anyone coming to a father-daughter dance without their dad is just sad. Wow, could she have directed that at me any clearer? Why doesn't she just hold up a sign that says Mackenzie doesn't have a dad? That would be much easier. Uh, Mr. Teacher Mentor? Yes, Sky. I mean, a father-daughter dance is cool, but it's also not super fair for those of us who don't have dads. Do you think it would be okay to bring someone else if you don't have a dad? Uh, you're just trying to make exceptions because your best friend is a loser. Sure, if someone doesn't have a dad, for example, Mackenzie, she can bring someone else that is special to her. Oh, wow, so great. I'm not getting any special treatment at all. Later that same evening. Hi! So sorry, honey. I know I said I would be home hours ago, but they needed me to stay. Were you able to find something for dinner? Yeah, I made something. There's leftovers in the fridge for you. Thank you so much. Oh, Mackenzie, you are saving me. I didn't even have time for lunch today. Yeah, no problem. So, a weird thing happened at school today. Apparently, we're having a father-daughter dance on Friday, and... Oh, honey, you know we've been over this. I don't know where your dad is. I haven't talked to him since you were born. No, no, I know that. What I'm saying is because he's not around, the teacher said that I could bring someone else who is special to me, and maybe I thought maybe I would bring you because you're a mom and dad to me. Oh, sweetheart, that is so nice. Um, when did you say it was again? Friday night, black tie attire. You know I would love to, but Mackenzie, Friday is a busy night for me. I have to work. Unbelievable. First, I'm the only one at school without a dad, and now you can't even go? Look, I'm sorry. It's not my choice. Being a single mom, I have to... Save it. I've heard my whole life how hard it is for you to be a single mom and blah 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 but i really don't see how it's that difficult oh you don't think it's that difficult do you no how could it be when you're never here i basically do everything around this place you want something done and i'm doing it i'm pretty much a self-cleaning oven i raised myself i do all the chores around here i cook my own food and really i'm my own mom well i am very sorry that you feel that way because you have no idea how hard it is to be a single mom it is the hardest job in the world and i hope you never have to experience it oh i never will because believe me i will never be a single mom i mean not that you do much anyways and also the minute i turn 18 i'm leaving this house and i'm never ever coming back you've missed out on my entire life because you're always working well i am sorry that me working all day and night to try and give you a good life isn't good enough for you yeah and i'm sorry too i guess i'll just dance alone on friday night <laughs> She's perfect. Our little Zoe is perfect. She is so beautiful. I just love her so much. Well, then why do you look so sad? You look like you're gonna cry. No, no, I'm not sad at all. I'm just so happy to have you here. Well, where else would I be? I get that, but it just means that I'm not a single mom. Growing up, my biggest fear was turning into my own mom. So I am just so, so happy that you're here with me. Well, duh, it's my daughter too. I would never, ever leave you to be a single mom. I'm here for you and Zoe always. Promise till death do us apart. Hey, Zoe, what's up? Mommy, can I have some mail? Sure you can. Just bring me your cup and I'll get you some. But I went to look for it. When I opened the 
fridge wasn't there. Huh, you're right. We are out of milk. What's going on? We're out of milk. I'll go grab some. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll run to the store. Come on, Zoe. We're going for a ride. Yay! Zoe's got to take a bath now. Maybe later. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go. Okay, love you. See you soon. Meanwhile. Do, 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 do. Ah! Meanwhile. Oh, hey, George. What's up? Is it time for the annual police donation already? No, I'm afraid not. Mackenzie, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this horrible news, but your husband was killed in a car accident on the way to the grocery store. No, no. No way! He just went to go get some milk! He's not dead! Another driver ran a stop sign. I'm so, so sorry. No! That's not possible! Because if he's dead, then that means I'm a single mom! No! No! I can't be a single mom! I can't be like my mom! I cannot do this alone! I didn't want to have to be the one to tell you this! No! <laughs> job and start to pay for things around here. Which means that you are gonna have to start daycare. No! I don't wanna go to daycare! Honey, trust me, I don't wanna have to make you go, but I'm afraid we don't have any other choice. The next day... Oh, I just worked a double shift and I need to get Zoe, make dinner, put her to bed. How does anyone do this? I just wanna go to sleep. This is literally the hardest job in the world. How did my mom do this? Oh my god, my mom was right. This is the hardest job in the world. My mom was right about everything. Oh, I owe her an apology. Oh. Mom, can you drive me and Sky to the movies? What? Are you serious? Why would I be joking? Um, well, first of all, I'm too tired, and second of all, I don't have time to do that. Oh, come on. You're just standing in the kitchen doing nothing. Yeah, and in the kitchen trying to prepare for dinner, something that a mom should be doing. Something that you wouldn't know. What do you mean something I wouldn't know? Ugh, don't worry. But I'm in school. You have no idea how hard it is being a single mom. <laughs> it's probably like the easiest thing ever. Oh, you think so? I know so, mom. Right, well maybe you'll find that out soon enough. Moments later. She is actually the worst. She's such a little brat and basically said that being a single mom was easy and that I'm lazy and doesn't think it's hard raising kids. You know I work at the adoption center, right? Like as in I own it. What does that have to do with anything, Daniela? Everything. Elaborate, please. What do you mean? Explain why you brought this up, duh. Because I own the adoption center, which means you could like totally go on a trip while Mackenzie raises two kids from here and she'll know how hard it is. I love that idea. What the heck? Why did I think of that? I guess I'm definitely the smart one. Okay, whatever makes you sleep at night. The next day. Did you forget how to knock? Oh, you're being ridiculous. Okay, fine. What do you want, mother? Well, since you think it's so easy to be a single mom raising kids, I'm gonna go on a trip and you're gonna raise two kids all by yourself. What? Raising kids as a single mom? Yes, looks like you're worried. You stressing over there? Shh, no way. That'll be easy. Glad you think so. We're going to the adoption center right now to pick up two kids for you to raise. Bet. Three hours later. Hey, Daniela. Hey, Bestie. You two are best friends? Yes. Interesting. Well, time for you to meet the little rascals. <laughs> What? What's so funny? That this trip is going to be super awesome, knowing that you're going to be struggling and realizing how hard it is. Hater, it'll be funny seeing the shocked look on your face when you arrive back. Absolutely. This is Brady and Bailey. <laughs> hey there. Stop laughing so hard, you stupid head. Oh, I wish I was here to see this. Don't bother wasting your time because this is going to be a cakewalk. A few moments later. Wait. Just chill out. No, not when I'm hungry. Mom, mom, what's for dinner? <laughs> Have fun. With what? Making dinner. You're on your own now. I'm leaving for my trip. Wait, what? Have fun, sucker. <sighs> so, what's for dinner? I don't know. Moments later. Uh, why do we literally have no food? I don't know where anything is. This is all so confusing. We want food. Me hungry. Why is this so stressful? Five minutes later. What's going on? Why is the fireman here? Because of the fire you both started. That was your fault, though. No, it wasn't. You sure? Yeah, and it was your fault, too, Mackenzie. So, 
your house will be fine. But your kitchen is a little ruined at the moment. So, um, yeah, it'll take a while to fix. So maybe go out for dinner? We're going to a restaurant! Yay! A few moments later. To leave. Ugh, but my food, I'm not finished yet. I don't care. You're causing a scene in our restaurant is a strict no scene causing policy, so you need to leave. Five minutes later. I'm hungry! Me too! We've both got us kicked out before we could even finish eating, so that's your guys' fault. Ooh, playground! And swimming pool! Hey, get back here right now! Don't make me come over there! I mean it. I am not joking around. Ugh. You guys, it's time to go home. I'm You guys can play. Yay! You are the best! Better? Much better. Meanwhile. How's it going? Has she given up yet? Not yet. There's still no word. Darn it. I thought she would have failed already. It's okay. I wouldn't worry. Why is that? Well, let's just say I talked to Brady and Bailey before bringing them over. I told them if they acted bad, they'll be rewarded when they come back to the adoption center. You are so diabolical. I love it. Well, I did say yesterday that I am a genius. Yeah, he did say that. Doesn't make it true, though. But it makes me crack. Three hours later. Oh. Whoa! How on earth did I pass out on the side of the road? I did not realize how tired I was. Okay, it's time to go home. I need my bed and I need Netflix. Pretty Bailey, it's time to go home. Huh? Where the heck are they? Come on, guys. Stop playing around. It's not funny. Moments later. Pretty um, no, can you please chill out, ma'am? A few moments later. Hey, hi, have you seen, like, two little kids? No, but do you want to try on some new arrivals? Sure, why not? Moments later. This is fire! You look so amazing, girl. You should totally buy it. You think so? Definitely. Great, I'll take it then. A few moments later. Thank you, have a nice day! I hope you find your kids! Oh, right, I totally forgot! Moments later. Brady! Five minutes later. You know, I think they're smart enough to just survive on their own. I'll just go home and they'll be fine. A few moments later. Huh, weird. George, how many times do I have to tell you I don't have any donuts? Stop lying. I know you have them, but that's not why I'm here. Brady, Bailey, how's it going? Yes, that would be why I'm here. Why? Because you left us here all day, all alone. Yeah. They called the police station to tell us, so don't even try lying, Mackenzie. But that's not what happened. Mackenzie, don't lie. It'll only make it worse. I'm only here to give you a warning and a very expensive ticket you will have to pay. But, but, I don't have any money. Be lucky you're not going to jail. Now, stay safe, guys. Oh, this means war. <laughs> Later that night. Ugh. I'm done. What on earth is going on in here? <laughs> you both are the most annoying human beings I have ever met. <laughs> you are so mean. I don't care. Just shut it and let me sleep. The next day. Oh, wow, some peace and quiet. I think I could definitely fall back to sleep. Three hours later. Huh? I go back to sleep and there's still no noise. This is insane. Well, I guess I'm ready to start my day. Hey, are you guys up? Brady, Bailey. Amazing. They still must be asleep. I think I'm going to enjoy myself today and go scootering. You are so mean. I don't care. Just shut it and let me sleep. He's actually so mean. Right? But I mean, we did get told to act bad. He should totally run away so she gets in big, big trouble. Such a good idea. She'll be so stressed out and worried, and then I bet we'll get such a good reward.
lord. Why is it so much better without kids? I guess my mom was right, but I am so not telling her that. <gasps> Where have you been, girly? Super long story. Well, I got time. Well, I'm raising two kids because my mom doesn't think I can. And I said I could do it no problem. And how's that been? Awful. Like the worst decision ever. It's so hard. I can't believe you even agreed to this, girly. You are so silly. Hey, no, I'm not. Yes, yes, you are. Whatever. Anyways, they're sleeping in bed right now. Do you want to hang out? We can go scooter around town. Oh, I am so down. Moments later. So, are you going to tell your mom that you were wrong? Def's not. She'll never let me live it down. Yeah, I guess she probably won't. Hey, hey! Oh, oh my God, George! Calm down. It's just George, girly. Why you got to scare us like that? Where are the kids? Shouldn't they be with you? They're at home. Prove it. Sure. I gotta go, Sky. I'll text you later. Five minutes later. They better be here, Mackenzie. They're sleeping in their room. I just went out quickly to go and grab some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, can you both come downstairs? Uh, hello? Looks like they're not home. No, they're just in their rooms. Come on, follow me. Brady! <gasps> Uh, uh-oh. Looks like they're not here. No, wait. I swear, they're here. You're coming with me, Mackenzie. No! Moments later. You are under arrest for terrible parenting. But it's not my fault. Two weeks later. <gasps> Mom! Looks like I was right. Um... You're not allowed out until you admit that I was right and you were wrong. Fine, you were right and I was wrong. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Ugh, you need to shower. You stink. Zoe, Zoe, calm down. You ought to be getting ready for bed, girl. But I can't just go to bed. I'm excited to see Dad. See Daddy in the morning, but Daddy is coming back from a long work trip. And he's going to be really tired, so you better just see him in the morning. Oh, okay. Why don't you go upstairs and get in the bath? I'll be there in a minute. One hour later. Mommy, can I ask you a question? Of course you can, honey. Why don't you have a job like Daddy? I do have a job. It's just different. But you don't go anywhere. That's because my job is taking care of you, silly. It's not just one job. It's many in one. Well, that's be hard. That's easy, because I'm easy to take care of. It's cute you think that way, honey. Now, why don't you go to sleep and when you wake up, you'll get to see daddy. Okay, good night, mommy. Good night, Zoe. Moments later. Oh, hi, honey. You just miss Zoe. I just put her to bed. But she is really excited to see you in the morning. Maybe you can take her to preschool on the way to work. Yeah, I don't really think so. Oh, why not? I'm not planning on being here in the morning. Well, where exactly do you plan on being? You have work in the morning, right? No, I quit today. You did what? How are we going to afford Zoe if you just quit your job? Well, that's not really my problem anymore. You keep saying that, but you're her father, right? You know. No, you're still her father, right? Yeah, about that, I'm leaving you. You're leaving me? Oh, what do you mean you're leaving me? I'm <clears throat> sorry if I didn't say it clearly enough. I'm leaving you and Joey. I'm tired of providing. I'm tired of being a dad and a husband, and I want to go off on my own. But you can't just do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. And because the money I made was mine, I'm taking all of it with me. You're going to leave me and Zoe poor. You realize that, right? Well, that's not my problem anymore. You can figure that out. I gotta go pack my stuff and get the heck out of here. Several days later. So, how are you doing, girly? We're doing great. Zoe's going to full-time preschool now. And instead of part-time, I've been making pretty good tips at the diner. We are really doing it. No, no, I don't want any of that tough girl talk. How are you really doing? Sky, it's been hard. I mean, I never thought I'd be a single mom. I never thought he'd leave. I know, girly. I am so, so sorry. Man, was he different in high school? Yeah, you're telling me. Are you sure you're okay working so much? Not like I really have a choice, but we've gotten in a good rhythm, me and Zoe. I drop her off before my first shift. I work all day. And she has a great time at preschool. Well, as long as that works. It does. I can't imagine our routine changing right now for anything. That would really shake up our world. It's summer break! Moments later. Zoe, what do you mean it's summer break? I mean, it's summer break, Mommy. Duh. Yeah, Mommy. Duh. <laughs> what exactly does that mean? It means I'm all done with preschool. I don't have to go back into the leaves to start fall off. And it's time for pumpkins again. You mean no school at all? You're not going to have school this entire summer? How silly. That's what I said. I'm off. I'm on vacation. Well, there goes your routine. You can't just be done with preschool. They've got to send a note out or something to the parents. They did it a bunch of times. I gave them to you, 
remember? Do you want to tell me a little more about that good rhythm? Not the time, Sky. Although, I'm glad you're enjoying my panic. Zoe, honey, you can't be off preschool for the next three months because I have to work. That's okay. Auntie Sky can watch me. No, 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 no. Auntie Sky is for short visits. Uh, I don't really do kids. Sorry. Some of the kids in my preschool are going to Disneyland. Well, kiddo, I can assure you that that is not going to be us. But we're going to make something work. How? It's not like you can bring her to work with you. Well, we don't know that yet. All we know is, however, it is my first summer break as a single mom. And we're going to have to figure something out. The next day. Why are we going here, Mommy? Ooh, are we getting pancakes? No, honey, we're not getting pancakes. Well, then what's the point of being here, then? This is where Mommy works, Zoe, so you're going to go to work with me. Think of it as bring your daughter to work day. That doesn't sound fun. I want to hear something fun. No, 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 no. It's a lot of fun. As fun as Disneyland? Well, maybe let's not go that far, but come on, let's give it a chance. Moments later. Okay, Zoe, you can go over there. Are you going to take my order? Yes, exactly. It's going to be just like playing waitress. All right, now come on, sit down here, and I'll take your order. Mm, I'll have a double fudge sundae. For breakfast? That's the fun part of waitress. You can get anything you want. Okay, then, why don't you stay here in color, and I'll go see what I can whip up for you. Mommy, this isn't a lot of fun. Don't double it yet. Come on, Zoe, just give it a chance. Can you believe some people? Yeah, I really can't. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Some people will just do anything to avoid watching their kids. Oh? Do you see that little girl sitting there alone in the booth coloring? Her parents must have just dumped her here and left. Oh? Oh, yeah, her parents didn't dump her here. Well, how would you know that? Because that's my daughter, Zoe. That's your daughter? Yeah, look, before you say anything, my husband left us a couple months ago. And I'm a single mom now, so getting into a routine for summer break has been really hard. Wow, that sounds like a pretty sad story, Mackenzie. I feel for you. Aw, thanks. Unfortunately, I don't feel enough to let you keep your kid here. I'm sorry? This is a place of business. I cannot have your child occupying a paying customer's table and distracting you from your work. No, 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 no. She won't distract me, I promise. I'm very undistractable. See, try and distract me. That is not the point. If Zoe is here, then you're focus is on her and not on your job. If your focus is on your job, that means your focus isn't on her. Neither of those options are good. So if you want to keep your job here, please, Mackenzie, find somewhere else to keep your child. Moments later. Wait, what happened to playing waitress, Mommy? Oh, you were right. Playing waitress isn't that fun. But you never brought me my Sunday. Well, I guess you won the game then, kiddo. Who is that lady who was yelling at you? Oh, her? Yeah, that was my boss. But don't worry, she wasn't yelling at me. She was just explaining that the diner isn't the best place to play a waitress. So where are we going now? We're going to see the nice man at the bank to see if mommy can stay home with you for the rest of the summer. You mean not work? Yeah, that's the idea. Yay! Yay! Meanwhile... Hello there, are you two having a beautiful summer day? Not really, my mommy has to work. Not just yet, Zoe. <laughs> About that. I was hoping that you could check on all the money I have in the bank. Sure, but check it for what? I was curious by any chance if I have the finances to stay home for the rest of the summer. You know, childcare is really expensive and I don't really know what else to do. Sure, let me take a look. Can I have your bank card? Yeah, here you go. Ooh, unfortunately, I am so sorry, but given your current financial state, I'm afraid you are not able to take any time off work. Any? Yeah, your ex-husband really cleared out your accounts. And what happens if I take some time off? You would be at risk of losing your house. Oh, no, not our house, Mommy. No, don't worry, Zoe. We're not going to lose our house. I do have one more idea. The next day. No. Please. No. Guy, please. Really? The answer is still no. But she's your goddaughter. Yeah, Auntie Sky. Zoe, I love you very, very much, but I can't even keep a hamster alive. It's not for very long, just so I can work this shift, please. Pretty, pretty, please, with a cherry on top. Ugh, how can I say no to that face? Zoe, look extra cute. Tease! Ugh, fine, just this once. Thank you. Thank you, girly. I owe you one. Yeah, yeah, save it. Come here, you rug rat. Three hours later. Come on, Auntie Sky, get up. Let's play. Come on. Zoe, Zoe, Auntie Sky can't possibly play anymore. We've had a tea party, we've had lunch, we've played princess, we've done everything, but I've had a nap. So I think I'm gonna have one now for the both of us. You can take a nap. No, I want you to take a nap. No, nap. No, nap. One eternity later. Hey, guys, how did it? Ooh, that bad? Early, I love her. And you know I do, but that kid 
of yours is a monster. There is no tiring her out. Yeah, that's how most toddlers are. I wish I could help you, but it's going to take me at least a week to recover from this. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Hey there, did you have fun with Auntie Sky? The most fun. When am I coming back? <laughs> Later that same evening. Well, Zoe, it looks like you and I finally made it to the beach. Yay! Too, kiddo. Man, I wish we could just spend every day, all day here. So I could spend more time with you and just watch you play. Why like, don't we, Mama? Because I've got to work so I can give you the best life possible. So it means even if I don't get to see you all the time now, it means it'll be better someday. Does that make sense? No, not really. Yeah, it doesn't always to me either, kid, but we'll figure something out. The next day. Where are they going now? Well, because you can't go to preschool during the summer, we're going to look for an alternative. Alternative? What does that mean? Another option. Come on, it can't hurt. Maybe they're having more fun than we are this summer break. A few moments later. Oh, there are so many toys. Hello there. How can I help you? Hi there. This is Zoe. I was wondering if you guys have availability for daycare this summer. No, mommy, I don't want to be away from you. Zoe, but we don't have any other option. Go on and play with the toys. I'm gonna talk to the nice daycare lady. Oh, she is so sweet. Yeah, she is. Summer break as a single mom is hard. I wish I could spend every second with her, but I can't take her to work and I can't afford not to work. Well, how would you feel about working here? Wait, that's an option? Oh yeah, and we're hiring at way more than any diner in Brookhaven would pay. <gasps> that's where I work. And if you were here, you could spend even more time with Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, guess what? We get to spend the whole summer together. But mommy, I already 